We have got Larry Lazen with us today. He is the founder and CEO of a modern lighting company called Global Lighting. Thank you for sitting down with us. Sure, my pleasure. How would you describe your business? What sort of products does Global Lighting try to bring to the marketplace today? We look for new creative design that comes throughout the world and offer it uh, here in the United States that's modified for the you know North American market to be to be able to be you know used here in North America so it's all wired for the North American market which is very different than other parts of the world and also that it's uh, UL listed underwriters uh, laboratories so it's all ready to be used by you know professionals as well as uh, in the home. So you definitely are selling to both commercial clients and, and residential clients? We do. We, in fact, we do more on the commercial side. We market ourselves on the commercial side of the market, and particularly to the hospitality industry. Being like hotels Hotel or? And, yeah, hotels, hotels and restaurants. We do a lot of ho hotel show, and we also do ICFF here in New York. So how and when did Global Lighting begin? Why did you start the company? Well, I had been in lighting for many years, and I started in lighting in almost 30 years ago, actually. And before that, I was a glass blower, and then went from glass all to study industrial design. And I had a project in art school to design a light, and I've been doing it ever since. I worked for a little bit uh, for a company here in the New York area called Lightelier when they used to be here in New York. And then I started manufacturing my lights uh, in Soho on Green Street um, in the 1980s and I've been just been in lighting ever since. Wow, that's exciting. I didn't know that you were a glass blower. That's great. Uh, so obviously you have a very artistic background. Yeah, and, and very sensitive to materials. That's the, the, I would say, the biggest thing that I learned. I learned a lot about materials through glass, so I have a real fondness for materials. That's interesting. Interesting perspective. You know, obviously, as the CEO of a company, you have to do a lot of business stuff. But what is your creative role at the company? Do you still get to do a lot of playing with materials and stuff like that? In some ways, I'm more like a teacher than anything else. I really, um, I have, from all the experience that I've ha have, knowing what works, what doesn't work, uh, and trying to understand, you know, what the, you know, the specifier is really trying to do. I, you know kind of am the go-between between it all, between the staff that we have here, which is a very customer-oriented staff, you know, the specifiers or the e-commerce sites uh, that we supply to. So it sounds like a typical day is communicating with people, putting fires out. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm not too much of a fireman anymore. Not, I got not, out of not that. so much? Yeah, I, 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 I hung that hat up. I'm not a good fireman. <laughs> so, so, but there, you know, but I, I work with people who are, who, who are really good and can put their hat and raincoat on and get the Dalmatian gone and, and go off and take care of the fire. <laughs> That's fun. I'm very interested in what's going on in the lighting design world right now. Do you have any insight in what kind of the new trends are? or As far as, you know, design's a broad word, but aesthetic design, the visual design, I would say right now less is more, meaning, you know, more natural materials, feelings and looks that, that are reflective of nature a little bit, not to the point of Art Nouveau, but as far as, you know, like LZF and their wood veneers and things like that. Things, you know, the designs that were used a lot of chrome or polishing or plating and so forth and tooling, you know, those really have a, a large carbon footprint and we, you know, those are not as popular anymore as from what I can tell, at least in this environment. Nobody really wants to be caught with spending, you know, $50,000 for a light. It's too embarrassing for a lot of companies. So, you know, everybody's trying to do what I say, what I call less is more you know, do more with less. You think the kind of green environmental movement has played a big part in that? Well, I think the biggest thing has actually been the economy has been a big part of it because on a professional level, people who make their livings, you know, specifying furnishings for environments are, are forced to do more with less because mm -hmm. their budgets have been slashed. So that's one way of sort of looking at it. Two is that they have to do more from a functional point of view, meaning, you know, using, understanding the technology more and where the technology is going because we're slowly starting to move away from incandescent and, and moving, you know, compact fluorescent has really firmly taken hold. And now the next frontier is what's called LED, which is, you know, a light emitting diode that has up to, it's a technology where you would change the bulb just three times in your lifetime. As compared to a light bulb, if you leave a regular incandescent 60 watt light bulb on in a store 
window, you'd re be replacing that bulb. If you left it on 24-7, you'd replace that bulb at least once a month. So there's a big difference. Now, we spoke with another lighting designer last week, actually, and she was, you know, singing the praises of compact fluorescence, but she wasn't quite on board with LEDs yet. Like, what's your personal feel about those? Do you like mm -hmm. the light quality that mm -hmm. you're seeing? I do. We have a, a file with UL for LED, and we've offered UL LED for about two or three years now, and we're doing a trade show here in New York. I think it's in March called uh, Ledgeucation, LED Cation. It's just for manufacturers and providers of LED light sources or fixtures. So we're starting to do more with it, and we're st now starting to be able to modify fixtures to LED. In the hospitality world that you say a lot of your fixtures go to, are people still clinging on to the old-fashioned incandescents, or do you see them moving towards the compact fluorescents or the LEDs? They're clinging on to it more here on the East Coast. On the West Coast, because of Title 20, they have a Title 20, which started to, you know, it's been in effect for about, I guess, maybe approximately four or five years. It's, you know, it's slowly moving away from inefficient light sources. And so they're being sort of forced to provide, you know, lighting with more efficient light sources. So they're, they're much more open to it there. Do you pay attention to the other design companies out there? Do you have favorites or do you have ones that really excite you? Well, well, we have, you know, we have the distribution for seven different companies uh, for North America and they're primarily Spanish and Italian. And, you know, we're always looking in being approached by other companies who are looking for us to distribute their their product. We yeah we I watch it a lot. What are some of your favorite products that you know you can find through Global Lighting? Well, I mean LZF is just is really a fantastic company because they have a unique ability to really truly collaborate, just like you know you are, you and I are now, and you do with the company that you know you're consulting with and. So it's just they do that, and they do it on a, on a real international scale, and they do it with all types of people. They collaborate with musicians, actually, and oh. a, a musician in L.A. who does all the music for the videos that they make. They have a film uh, company that they work with who actually does their videos that you can see on their website, and or they're on our Facebook as well. They collaborate with uh, graffiti artists. So you might think of, oh, lighting comp companies, well, they would really, who would they collaborate with? You know, it might just be, you know, a designer. But that's not the way this company works. They really just, they really use all types of media and really bring it all together. That's cool. That sounds very interesting to know that there are companies out there who are understanding modern times and collaboration and stuff like that. Yeah. For them, it's not about the bottom line. It's not about just how much money it is. It's really, for them, it's very much how they want to live their life and do what they love doing. Well, so what is up next for Global Lighting? You, you spoke about some trade shows coming up. We're doing a trade show in Mexico City at the end of next month in February. We are doing ICFF here in New York, and we're doing the hospitality show in Las Vegas, which is around the same time period. We're considering possibly a show in Los Angeles so we have a, a pretty busy schedule ahead of us for the year. And are you guys just going to try to keep attracting really great companies? Really just, you know, it's it's more about providing good service. And, and, you know, you can provide wonderful product, but if the service stinks, nobody wants, nobody will want it. So it's more about the, the quality of the service that we provide, you know, goes hand in hand with, you know, really, you know, wonderful new designs that we offer to the marketplace. So that's, that's for us, that's really, I, I think, our secret, and it's really no secret at all. Thank you so very much for talking with us today. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. Be sure to visit globallighting.com for more information about Larry Lazen and all of their great products. You've been listening to a Two Modern Designer interview. For more fun podcasts, inspiring design posts, and design advice, check out the blog at twomodern.com. 